all you lovelies, Jennifer Ziliato here. I'm back again for another Style Fix video. And today we are going to talk about how to pack a carry-on for three weeks. So we're going to France, as you might have guessed, and I'm feeling extremely lucky to be able to travel. We haven't been back and seen Bruno's parents in five years. Uh, but this whole idea of a carry-on luggage is stressing me out to no end. I've been humming and hawing over it for the last two weeks. And yesterday I saw a dear friend of mine who is originally from Canada, but now lives in Denmark and she traveled with a carry-on. So the first thing I asked her was, how did you pack? She shared her method with me, which was quite brilliant. And I'm going to share that method with you. The thing about putting together your outfits is it's so hard to kind of pare down your wardrobe to really a tight capsule wardrobe, because the truth is you want to take everything. So you kind of have to get your mindset around that first. My friend Tracy, what she did was she sort of created like a Pinterest board of looks. Um, that inspired her, which I really liked the idea of. I did not do that just because we only saw each other yesterday and I'm traveling today. But I've been thinking about outfits, of course, you know, all summer long and trying on looks. So basically where I started her advice was laying everything that I wanted to take out on the bed and making sure that I could create lots of different outfits, making sure that the few pairs of shoes that I'm taking work, um, making sure that I can make two, sometimes three outfits out of the same items. Really important. The other thing is that is making my packing a little bit easier is I know what to expect because I know where I'm going and also the weather is extremely hot there. So we're not really going to be doing much when we arrive. We're going to be sitting um, by the pool for most of the time. Bruno and I are going to have a little jaunt for a few days in wine country. And then of course you want to have one or two outfits that are a little bit dressier and a little bit more sightseeing friendly, I guess. So putting together a concise packing list really also very important. So as you can see, I've got everything laid out and it doesn't really look like it's going to be able to fit into this bag. So I'm going to use another little trick and I am going to vacuum pack all of my outfits apart from my travel outfit, which I have right here. I'm not sure that the vacuum pack is quite totally worth it, although it did gain me a little bit of space. I rolled up my clothes, vacuum packed them, and I'm just gonna leave a few things that I can fit in and around um, the other bits. But so far, it's looking pretty good. Let's hope uh, it's not overweight. Okay, I did it. I fit everything in here. I can't believe it. Uh, or the, what do you call it? The vacuum pack. I'm not sure how worth it it is for the time. I don't think you save that much space. It actually makes the clothes a little bit bulky. So some of them I opened and rejigged around. I've still got my travel outfit to put on. Um, pack my tote bag with some of my makeup in and my iPad and all that kind of stuff. And then I am ready to go. One thing I am going to do is Definitely will be using this um, bag when I'm there because I've used it so much this summer. It's so great. But I also wanted to take a little bag so that if we go out for dinner, I'm not taking such a big bag and it can look a little bit dressier. So I'm going to put that in there with some of my other things. And voila, that is it. Wish me luck. Uh, have a wonderful next three weeks, all of you. Just so you know, um, I do have a lovely young gentleman who is going to be doing, taking care of all the shipping. So if you do order something, you will get it even though I am not here. So that is it. Hope you liked this video. I hope I inspired you. Uh, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a comment down below letting me know where you went, your packing stories this summer. I'd love to hear it. And of course, for more style ideas to Follow me on my holiday. You can continue to follow me on Facebook and on Instagram.